Right, folks, as you can see, I... Hi, 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 hi. I have the bling stash in again. I will be going through this and making it into bags. Um, there is a lot. And, you know, it has come from a car boot. There's some very, very vintage pieces. Um, but bear with me. I will sort it into bags. And, as you can see, there's just heaps, loads. Um, you know, it can be taken apart and just used. Look at that one. Chop them off and use them. Like I say, it is all vintage. You might find the odd stone missing. Just put one back in, take them out, put a whole new set in. Um, there's lots of different things. Just things you can cut off and use elsewhere. But I did say we would... Look, little porcelain, flower. Uh, we would get this back in again. Even if you're collecting the stones, it's really, really good for stuff like that. Just lots of different things. Loads of it. Some of it is quite vintage. I'm just looking at that piece, see? Quite vintage. A clip. Belt buckle by the looks of it or something. Um, lots. Just lots of it. So like I say, I will be going through all of that for you. And, uh, you know... Um, some really nice pieces in it actually and all you do is just cut it up just cut it up that's all you need I mean look at that that's like a little flower it was a brooch the back's come off but that's why we get it like that that's, that'll look lovely somewhere um, and if you're very good you can always repaint them so like I say the bling bags will be done shortly um, that's it I'm just about to film the next flower um, very quick, very easy flower to do, but extremely pretty. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.